know. See, the pan. Same way. Pan? Yeah, oh my gosh. Well, see, that? I'm trying to do bite oh. wings on him. Yep. So I was like, what is this thing? Do you see that white thing? thing in the top left area? Yeah. That, I've taken like three sets of bite wings on this, and it's always there. No that white square? Who, no matter who. That's ah! Yeah. What so, is that? So is it's, it me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> But it is uh, it's positioning. So when we're gonna go over that today. Okay. Then and really, there's mm -hmm. there's one thing that's really really wrong with this. But when we're shooting a pan, we shoot at an angle. So mm -hmm. we shoot under this jaw to hit this jaw to hit a sensor. Um, when you're shooting a bite wing, you're actually shooting it parallel in order to open up those interproximal spaces. And it's still a focal trough. So because the two things are going opposite of each other. There's an area that's in focus, but if we're not perfect on our positioning, that does reduce uh, the opportunity for uh, some of those streaks. Okay. And you'll always track it to the opposite quadrant. So you go to the opposite quadrant, you see a bunch of white things, and then on the other side, there's a bunch of white things. So that's the reflection of those. But there, there are some things. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got so a bunch of brown down there. So it's going to so be, it's up? just going to be so something that we're going to address on the, the positioning to be able to do that. This comes from those on yep. that quad. It'll always be in the opposite quad. Okay, uh, got it. Okay. So is there a, a way to clean up the artifacts before we... Not on 2D, but we just need to position it correctly. Okay, and you're going to show us how to do that. And then you're going to be good to go. Yeah, okay. Right. So right, when we're doing bite wings, you guys are kind of already messing around with this. We're hitting mm -hmm. the pan Maybe button. Thank you. Then we're changing it from uh, standard to selecting the bite wing. Okay. Do it again. Actually, Please. I did not do that. Come here. Okay. I just blocked off I need to learn how to do that. areas. <laughs> All right. Pretty <laughs> sure. No. Okay. Can you can walk us through right that here. process. It looks too perfect. You can stand straight. I can okay. see behind you. But we hit pan. I can. Hit pan. Up top is, is going to take a panoramic standard. We want to take a panoramic bite wing. Bite wings. wings. Okay. We're going to select the patient size, so yes. if it's a man, we would go to L. L. If it's M, it's ma'am. So you're, you are an advanced user. You're hitting these. I just always hit forward. Oh, so I'm doing too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, it's yeah. doing the same thing. It's okay. just forward okay. takes you to the next spot you're supposed to do. Okay. Now, oh, bite wing does not have autofocus, but it essentially does for, for all intents and purposes. Okay. So everything we do on the pan, everything that you guys have been doing on the pan, do it. Because you guys, those pans are perfect. You guys have been killing it. And your positioning here is going to be identical to when you're taking a pan, except for when we get to the end. So, you know, bite stick high, too high, not actually high. You have them grab the handles, show them the bite stick, mm -hmm. have them bite here. I get actually awkward. have a guy, like, grab right here. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> get them here, you know, lock okay. them down. You're doing all that. You get them in the middle. Yep. And then the final two steps when you're taking the pan are make sure you got them flat or slightly dipped. Anywhere in there is fine. Okay. And then wrap your lips around the bite stick, tongue under roof, your mouth, swallow. All the focus will take care of the rest, right? And that's it. Yeah. For bite wings, we're going to change those last two steps. So on the pan, I'm like, you know, you can have it like flat or so. I don't, I don't really care. It's fine. With a bite wing, you need it flat. So think about how you take an intraoral bite wing, right? Mm-hmm. It's always parallel to the floor. The occlusal right. plane is always parallel to the floor. Same thing needs to happen here. Why? Oh, well, we've got them tipped too much then. Okay. On the pan, we got them tipped. Mm -hmm. You guys are doing a perfect dip on the pan, so just bring them up just a little bit more. And always watch them, by the way. Like people, people want to make you happy, mm -hmm. right? They want mm -hmm. to make you happy. Some of them want to make you miserable, <laughs> but some of them will put themselves in a situation trying to just be. A good patient make sure mm -hmm. that when you do that they're not lifting themselves up right because okay. then they could start moving just let their chin tilt mm -hmm. maybe just tell them that your chin tilt up but get it flat okay okay the other part is there's a laser over here that you guys don't have to touch on the pan and on the bite wings you do and when I move this laser this little thing this little number is changing does everybody see that mm -hmm. yeah. do it again move it Whoa. oh yeah look at that okay all right I didn't believe it. I was doing okay, it on the pan and not on the bite wings. Okay. Is this well, that? Yeah. Okay. A little bit. On the pan or 3D? This is on the. This is that's for 3D. It was only for 3D before. Now we're using it for bite wings mm -hmm. too. So, real easy way to remember this. When we take bite wings on an adult, what size mm -hmm. film do we grab? Two. two. This should say two on the two. screen. Okay. And stay positive, people. Don't be negative. Don't be negative. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> so we can do this on little kids too. When you do it on children, so if you select the extra small patient, yes. only on that one, small, medium, and large, and extra large, it, we would grab a size two film, right? Mm -hmm. But on that pediatric patient, really small one, we're gonna go zero. zero. Oh, okay. Which means- So wind it right down. Zero. Okay. It just worked out that way, but it's the, it's the best thing in the world that could have happened. Because if it was 12 and 14, you'd be like, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's two. This would be so Grab a size two get. bite wing, size two sensor. You look at a kid, you're like, that's a kid. I would use a zero on them. We're going to right. use a zero, zero here. This is a physical spot in the world of where this laser is going. So you need to look at it each time because if somebody cleaned it and they bumped it, or someone took a 3D scan, they've got it way in front of the groove. Way in front of the groove is that eight. And you need it all the way back at two on the majority of your bite wings. Okay. So that's essentially all the Do focus. You, know you just need to make sure you have it in there. Okay. okay. Now, <clears throat> ways that you'll yeah, uh, mess you up as well. She, she's never done a cone beam. so you, Not a cone beam. You move it whenever you do a cone beam to be in front of, of the yes. front teeth. Yana showed yeah. me that. Okay. I just haven't taken that's not one a, yet. And that's, again, that's, that, you don't do that for a phantom. Correct. No. Okay. Not so Does it need to be anything? Any or just no, it has to, no. like, <laughs> that thing just in front of your lip. She turned it against thing. me. <laughs> Sweet shirt, bro. <laughs> now I will beat you with it. Oh, great. <laughs> do it. Yeah. Oh, wait. So the, the way that we messed up on this one okay. mm -hmm. uh, was we've got a, a little bit of a smile in there. So we would have wanted it to be a little bit more flat. So I did it on purpose. Yep. Okay. And then you see how like the anteriors, they're just out of focus mm -hmm. and they're fuzzy. Yeah. That should all be clear. So that means it was out of focus. We didn't have it on two. You didn't know. But if you have it on two, then all that is clear. So okay. it was way too far forward, probably because it was from the 3D before. Mm -hmm. And so those teeth are outside of the focal trough. If something's outside of the focal area, it's fuzzy. Well, so. I, I had him do this, and I lined it up to right in front of his teeth is what yeah. I did. Yeah. Okay. So yep. just on like seven I mean, you did something. everything wrong correctly. <laughs> so it was good. <laughs> did it wrong correctly. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> when we're taking the pan, you stick them in the machine and let autofocus take care of it. When you're taking a bite wing, I want their occlusal plane flat mm -hmm. and then have it say two on the screen or mm -hmm. zero if you select the extra small patient. But it's going to be really, really simple. Sounds and like you guys are killing it on those pans. I mean, all the focus makes it really, really easy, but there's still, there's still ways that you can mess up, which is actually what we're going to go over. Even though you're not messing it up, I'm going to tell you what you could do to mess up because that's the best way to understand uh, what's going on. And, and also understand what these people are doing. Okay. It, they are the enemy here, right? Because, like we said before, they're always going to do the wrong thing if you let them. So you're always going to take control. Story of my life. You can see any other story of their knees. Yep. Either go up on their tiptoe for you. Yep. <laughs> now, be careful when you're having them bite on the stick. Make sure it's edge to edge. That's the part that they'll always want to cheat on because they're, they don't understand the importance of edge to edge. Edge to edge is not your natural bite. It is uncomfortable. Everything that you do is to make sure that these front two teeth don't hit because it's like, whoa, when yeah, it happens, it's right? Feeling. It's gross. So make sure when you stick them in, you have them bite and it's all the way up here. That's when you say, smile, I want to make sure that you've got both sets of teeth edge to edge in that groove. That's a big part that they'll mess up on for you. Okay. The other one is make sure that we're keeping good from those shots we were, but make sure you're keeping good on explaining Lips around the bite stick, swallow, and put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, mm -hmm. and leave your tongue on the roof of your mouth. If you don't leave the tongue on the roof of the mouth, you get that black thing all the way up top, and then we just lost the apex yeah. of 16 teeth for that. Right. Mm -hmm. So take that time, make sure you're doing that. Do you guys want to position each other with a couple of bite wings to feel comfortable? Does anybody yeah, want a bite sure, wing to have I some fun? I'm going to get you a new one of these, though. Nice. Oh, come on. She would like that. germs between friends. <laughs> HPV. <laughs> All right. It's on the rise, you know? All the kids are doing that. All right, so. Yeah, we're on the thing. It's cool you don't even have to wear an apron anymore. Yeah, Put your hands up here. Too. Awesome. Thanks for not grabbing that thing. Yeah, you're perfect. Now let's just take photos. <laughs> yeah. Right, just uh, like, uh, I usually do a whole big explanation about your feet. Nice. So I'm going to put my foot in front of your feet and just scoot your feet forward until you kick me. Yeah, that's probably that's probably okay. I'm gonna kick you hard. <laughs> she's, a, she's a ma'am. You're not just a standard ma'am. You're a bite wing ma'am. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, you know, I need your teeth in that groove there. I need you edge to edge. Like a, like a really unnatural thing, like you're growling at me. And nobody's been chewing on this bag, so it's all clean just for you. And uh, I'm gonna make it a little shorter. I'm push in your skull. All right, uh, so go ahead and bite down that stick for me. And then up slide down. Uh, nope, yeah, perfect. Let's slide all the way back. You, you did it right. And correct. <laughs> she's uh, good at really not yeah. yeah. traumatizing. She's, she's good at like making She's doing like what the patient is doing. Awesome. For yeah, so, like yes. uh, my goal is to get like the it tip is. of your chin on this thing. I'm going to lower she this just a little bit and then it. manhandle you a little bit. Yeah. So right, just I'm going to lower the stick and lift help up Help yourself be more successful. From the very the beginning, and you knew go like, that it was way too high. Yeah. And don't even let her get that close to the machine because mm -hmm. you're, you're in this mindset of, I want to get her in, this is weird, etc. Just have her stand back there and then and, and then get the machine down. Okay. Because anytime so don't start doing high. this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, not I was literally machine. doing that on purpose. Not with the machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. 